I start with a little apology uh, to those of you who watch my videos regularly. Thank you so much. It is much appreciated. If you are sick to death of hearing about my sagging puffy eyelids. Puffy, sagging skin. Sagging eyelids. I woke up this morning with really puffy eyes. Then I'm afraid to tell you that today I am talking again about my sagging puffy eyelids. But bear with me because there is information that I think will be of interest to all today because I'm going to be talking about how I am treating a really common eye condition called dry eye syndrome, which I have. So you have probably heard me harping on about the fluid retention around my eyes that causes them to look really puffy, particularly in the mornings, particularly if I've drunk alcohol or if I'm feeling unwell, I get this pool of fluid in the upper eyelids. And over the years, as I have aged, then the skin has loosened around the eyes. The problem seems to have got worse. Now, I've done a lot of digging. I've dug like a little terrier online and I've spoken to my GP and I've talked to um, an optician to try and get to the bottom of this. And I think I've kind of pieced it all together. So basically, as we age, um, and the skin loosens around our eyes, we create more space for fluid um, to pool and to be retained. And it happens to a lot of people under the eyes. To me, it happens above the eyes. So we can help tackle that through skin tightening. Um, which I've spoken about in other videos. You will have seen my Tixel videos if you watch the, v the vlog regularly. If you haven't, I'll uh, link to the video description below. That's a skin tightening treatment that I've been having over the past year. I'm about to go for another one soon. Uh, it uses heat to um, shrink the, the skin. The thing I found out about why the fluid pooling is worse when you drink alcohol um, or if you're ill is because um, when we have nights where we don't have a lot of rapid eye movement and that generally happens when we drink or we're not feeling well, we get poor quality of sleep, we don't get enough sleep. When we have nights like that, um, then the lack of eye movement causes fluid to pool which makes sense because, you know, when you're up and about in the day and you're moving your eyes, um, it, it tends to drain off again. So it's that poor quality of sleep that makes it worse because we we're not moving our eyes in our sleep. And also, when I visited the optician a couple of years ago, she mentioned something to me which I didn't really take on board fully at the time. She called it blepharitis. Uh, but basically, there is a blockage of the meibomian glands, which are responsible for um, creating oil. Um, and then that helps hydrate, mixes with the tears and helps keep our eyes hydrated. Again, as we get older, we tend to get more problems. It's really, really common to have blockage of these glands to some extent. Um, and that's why I think this video is going to be helpful to a lot of people. Now she at the time, and I'm going back two years, told me to or recommended that I buy this eye doctor mask, which she sold me. Now, I've since found out you can buy it for between 10 and 15 pounds um, online. And I've linked to it in the video description. I, of course, being in the optician, uh, paid over 20 pounds for it. And I hardly used it. True to form took it home, used it a couple of times, thought oh, that's not really making much difference and, and didn't do much about it. But she had said to me if I heated this up and used it every night for a couple of weeks, that would help to um, unblock, you know, turn to your oil liquid. Um, and if you massage after heat treatment, you help to unblock the eyes. With my eyes getting worse, I uh, was digging around online and I found this article by an American optometrist who said that she had developed this fail-safe protocol for dry eye syndrome. And um, she recommended not using something like this for two weeks, but for six weeks, 15 minutes a day. Now, the eye doctor mask heats up in the microwave. I just put it in for 40 seconds and it retains its heat generally for about 10 to 12 minutes, so it's not quite the 15 minutes. The American optometrist recommended something called quantum iPads, which I can't really find in the UK, but if you're elsewhere, worth having a look because they apparently keep their heat um, for the 15 minutes. 15 minutes daily, or as long as you can, with this heat mask. Then, after 
you've used the mask, you have to massage around the rims here um, and above as well for a few minutes, so pressing into the eyeball and you are releasing the oil when you do that. And then you are supposed to, and I never follow the rules properly, you are supposed to use um, special eye wipes that you can buy online and clean off any excess oil so that it doesn't form um, and sink back into to the glands and, and block them up again. I, for that, just use a hot face towel. I'm three weeks in to doing this. The very first time I started using this eye doctor mask seriously, I had really bad buildup of fluid and I also had my eye was like twitching with it. It was really obvious it was a blockage or something really going wrong. And over that first night, it was so satisfying using this eye mask because I think it must have been my tear duct. Something unblocked and I started getting tears like spurting out of my eye Ugh. but um it was a great feeling so I knew it was working and I've just stuck with it I'm kind of three weeks in and I notice a real difference in the build-up of fluid around the eyes I mean I've got a bit of a cold today usually I have big saggy eyes and it's not it's really helping and I think the combination of Tixel particularly on this eye more problematic on my other side um but I can see much more of the eyelid than I used to and the eyes are feeling more comfortable so I'm going to stick with it for six weeks. The optometrist also recommends that you take fish oil and that you front load by taking 4,000 milligrams. This has got um, a thousand milligram per capsule so she would recommend taking four of something like this every day of omega-3. I can manage two. These are absolutely massive but yeah she thinks front loading with um, omega-3 fish oil is really helpful for getting the um, eye hydrated again and fish oil is good for you anyway so worth a go. So that's my um, story. I, I hope that it helps because dry eyes are miserable. I'm a contact lens wearer. That doesn't help the situation either. So if you're suffering from any of these symptoms, then it's really worth giving this a go. Um, hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.